Alrighty, so we're going to go through and do some modifications to this uh, 336. If you look here, I'll give you a close up of that. That is a Skinner um, Picatinny rail fucking section. It just goes into the dovetail. Um, just one section of pick rail or weaver, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, and that is where I'm going to mount a red dot eventually. But much lighter option than having um, the excess sights. Now that's also the reason why I went with the Williams. So I've got um, the Williams WGRS series um, peep sight. And the main reason I went with this one is it is a ghost ring. If you take out the peep itself, it's a ghost ring. Excuse me. If you take out the ring, if you take out that, it's just a ghost ring. Um, fully windage adjustable and elevation adjustable. And then you obviously have your peep you can put in if you do want to go and do that style of shooting as well. So definitely much better option than the excess sights. And this weighs two fifths of fuck all. And so does that. So you're actually getting the same thing. Obviously I don't have the option of putting sights mounted wherever the fuck I want. But I've got the options of what I'm doing with an excess, but obviously cheaper. And then a big loop because these are shit. So, I guess we'll do the uh, big loop first. So that's pretty fucking easy. All right, so let's pop open uh, to halfway, get our flat tip screwdriver. All right, take that screw out. All right, this comes straight out. Now let's have a look at the size difference. All right, so everything obviously at the front end is the same place this on like that so you can see All right, and there's the size difference of the loop so you get a little bit more length in it and obviously a hell of a lot bigger there um, these are fucking made for women and children they're fucking tiny All right, one thing I like about this I got this from Brownells it was hundred thirty fucking dollars or something which is ridiculous but you know it is what it is now first thing I've noticed is it's um, the bluing on it is a hell of a lot better. Um, it actually looks properly blued, unlike this piece of shit. Um, and the edges are actually, you know, smoothed down and machined properly, whatever, whereas this is real sharp. So it's going to be a hell of a lot better. Now, one thing we have to do, because this doesn't come with it, is you're going to have to take out um, this plunger here. Um, and there's a little pin in there for it. So I've got myself a thumbtack. You can use a punch if you have a punch. Thumbtack should suffice and just put a little bit of pressure in on that uh, plunger and then hopefully I don't stab the fuck out of myself perhaps not uh, good thing I came prepared with a little knockometer and what I'm going to do is just sit this over the top of that so it'll fall straight through to the table fucking Jesus well that didn't work. What I needed to do, you can, you can use a small nail, I didn't have a brad nail though, but what I did was I got one of my uh, thumb tacks and I fucking nipped the end off, so now I've got a little punch. All right, so all we're gonna do now is punch uh, this fucking pin out. All right, what I might do is use my tin snips as a rest. Oh yeah, it would probably help it in a fucking rubber mallet, eh? Yeah, because this isn't fucking dodgy at all. Hey! Got him. Fucking Jesus. Yeah, this channel's fucking heaps good, eh? Alright, so what that's done is it's punched our pin out. And now our little homo punch is holding that plunger in, so... Press the plunger, now we're gonna try and get that. F fuck you. Well, there you go. If you <laughs> if you ever lose this, you can use part of a fucking thumbtack that's holding that in perfectly. Get the fuck out, you cunt. All right, cool. Fuck all this off. All right, so we've got a pin there, plunger in our spring. All right, so we've now stripped out that. That can fuck off and die because it's a piece of shit. All right, let's put this into here now. So I might give that a quick wipe on me t-shirt before I put that in. All right, so now we're gonna stick our 
plunge it and spring into the new uh, lever. Right, on the bottom you've got a beveled edge. You'll know it when you see it. Uh, now, this should... If I don't fucking lose the cunt. Yeah, that's fucking mad, eh? Alright, so, gotta make sure that that pin is flush. Which it appears to be. Alright. Let's put our new lever into the rifle. Make sure it's in correctly and replace this screw. Alright, double check that it works. Hey. Oh my god, that's so much better. Awesome. Alright, now let's move on to our rear sight. Alright, so the first thing we have to do for our rear sight is we have to take out these two um, fucking filler screws. Got our sight. Here's our two screws that come with it. Now this pack did not come with Loctite. I've seen two different things. You'll see some people put Loctite on, some people not. Uh, because I really don't feel like losing something that cost me, you know, a decent amount of money, plus the fucking weight to get it shipped from America, I'm going to put a little bit of 243 Loctite on. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to dry fit it first, and then I'll take the screws at one at a time and Loctite just to make sure everything fucking fits in correctly, because otherwise I'll be a very sad boy. To get to, on the side, to get to the, get the front plate there, to get the rear one, we're going to have to loosen this screw and take off. All right, so you have to take that apart um, to get that. So this is going to sit there like that. All right, so I'm not obviously putting them in tight because I am just dry fitting. All right, that looks fucking sexual. Little tiny bit of overhang. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that little tiny bit of overhang on that side. So it's not quite machined down, I don't think, but I'm sure that's not really gonna be an issue for me. All right, let's do some lock tightening. So we'll take the front one out first. Now, the thing to remember with these receiver holes is um, they go all the way through to where your bolt runs. So you don't wanna have fuck loads of Loctite because you run the risk of getting it all over your bolt. So just a tiny little dollop. Same again. All right, there you go, that's base plate on. Looking pretty schmicko. All right, now what we're gonna do is just slide our rear sight back on. We'll put it back to the center marker, which is where it was out of the box. And that way it's in the middle, ready for zeroing. That's what it looks like. So, pretty schmick. Obviously, still got the standard front sight. Now, what I will do once I buy one is replace this brass bead um, with a fiber optic. But for now, all I've done is I painted the end with just some red nail polish. And I assure you, I looked very tough buying nail polish from the chemist the other day. Um, so, normal front sight, still with a hood on. Right, I've got my pick rail there from Skinner Sights just ready for um, my red dot. So, if you're watching, Pete, I want my red dot back. All right, uh, then we've got the rear sight here. Base is on that there. All right, that's with a peep in. And then if you just unscrew that, you now have a ghost ring rear sight. So there you go. That's how to fit it all together. I'm sure you'll be seeing this gun a fair bit more when I start doing more upgrades to it. Um, got any questions, leave in the comments below. And as always, have a good one and hooroo.